This tutorial runs through how to modify grid properties in TechPlotRS. When analyzing your delta bubble maps, you may be interested in modifying some of the grid properties to make the history match more accurate. The RS property modifier lets you specify what changes you want to make to the grid and saves a file that can be used alongside the reservoir simulation deck on a subsequent run. As an example, let's take this specific part of the reservoir. We could see that the water is overproducing in this area. One of the reasons for this might be because the permeability in this region is too high. To modify the grid properties, simply go to Data, Sim Input, and for this example I'm going to go to Cells. I'm going to quickly walk you through on how to change the parameters within a boundary. So I'm going to click on Cells Inside Boundary. RS will force you to switch into an aerial view. Go ahead and press Yes. There are several options on how to create the boundary you're interested in. For this example, I'm going to select the Circle option. Let's create the boundary you're interested in by left clicking where you want the center of your circle to be, holding it down, and moving slowly outward until the required boundary is reached. Once we have created our boundary, we could choose the property that we want to modify and how much we want to change it. In this example, I'm going to change the PermX property. and divide the selected region by 2. We could select the Apply Equations button to see the changes made on the grid. To write the property modifier file that could be used with the input deck, simply select the appropriate format. In this case, I'm running an Eclipse file, so I'm going to choose Eclipse and click on File. This will create a file in which multiple property modifiers can be read into. Clicking on the Write Equations button will write out the modifiers to the file. This will only write out the modifiers for the selected grid cells. To output all the grid cells for a chosen variable, click on the Copy Values button. Again, you could, you could write multiple property modifiers to one file. Keep in mind that the property modifier will not alter values in the grid solution files. Instead, it creates modifier files that could be used as input decks into your simulator. This is just a fast and easy way to make changes to your grid properties. 